1974 will be remembered by sport enthusiasts, especially for the Tokyo Olympic Games. The first edition on the Asian continent. Absolute protagonist of that edition was the American swimmer Don Scholander, the blonde angel who won four medals. 1974 was also the year of American attacking in North Korea. The USA of Lyndon Johnson bombing in large Missouri, North Vietnam. In music world, the Beatles debut on television at the Ed Sullivan Show. In 1974, was born Tom Curran, one of the most influential figures in the surf world. Tom Curran was born in Newport Beach, California, son of the surfing pioneer Pat Curran. Tom and his family grew up in Santa Barbara. Pat took Tom very early in the wave. At the age of two, father and son stayed together many hours in the water. But Tom started surfing regularly at the age of six. A 14 years old is already a phenomenon and put together an extraordinary four years result in the amateur circuit. Tom winning the division of the United States Men's Surfing Championship in 1978 and 1979, and the junior title in 98. The same year he also won the junior world champion. In 1981 he finished second to the former world professional champion Sean Thompson in the Katyn Pro, where he won the following year. action here, keeping the speed flowing, bringing the wave right the way through to the inside section, throwing in a couple more cutbacks, and pulling off a little re-entry right on the sand. The sand is important because a lot of times when you don't have size in surf, the judges look for the distance of the ride. Well, yes, they do. They look... Tom Curran turned pro very early, at 16 years old. A senior double contract with the rip car for the wet seat equipment, and also with the Ocean Pacific for the beach wear. Current take $4,000 a year, a record for that time. Tom Curran debut is a triumph. In California for the Stubbies Pro Trustal, Curran won the events and finished the season ranked in 19th place by participating at just 4 of the 12 events in the World Tour, including the Marui Pro in Japan, which he won. In the next two seasons, 83 and 84, Karen qualified in the final ranking in fourth place and winning two consecutive editions of his home race, the OP Pro in Huntington Beach.
In 1985, in his fourth season, among the pro, Tom seems ready to win something important. In the race for the world title that year, there is a 19 years old goofy footer from Australia. Mark Okilupo, with his explosive surf, is considered the best emerging talent. Tom win 5 of the 21 events in 1985 season, but would only win the world title after defeating Ossie in the semi-final at the Rip Carl Probels Beach. The contest is still considered as one of the greatest matches in tour history. Karen became that year the first American male surfer to win a World Tour title since the circuit was founded in 1976. The following year, 1986, Karen is 21 years old and has to defend the title. After a super start, he won 5 of the first 10 events, the champion has a drop in the last 8 race, a crisis which he partially managed to overcome and win their second world champion's title. Tom paid the price for success. At 21, he appeared in every contemporary surf film. The tale of his personal life, such as a drunk cocktail at school, about his father that left the family when Tom was 17, all of his life is in the media mechanism now. It only stops when I give in or I sit still I see the clouds off in the distance I see the end Tom Curran didn't like life as a star and tired of his interview and article in a surf magazine try with his irony to manage this excessive interest in himself Together with Pro Tour champion Martin Potter and Tom Carroll also helped to introduce World Politics in a Surfing, boycotting the 1985 World Circuit event in South Africa as a protest against apartheid. After two years, 1987 and 1988, of competition with mixed result, in 1989 Tom dropped out of the tour and decided to spend more time with his wife and their two little children in Anglais in southwestern France. However, 1990 was the year of his rebirth. The 26 years old returned to competition in exceptional condition, obtaining a record of seven victories and this third and last world title. In 1991, in Aleva, Karen last victory in WCT. In that final, the surfer presents his board clear, without a sponsor. Ocean Pacific interrupts immediately the collaboration with the surfer. Closer to you. Your living room is 
Later, Tom Curran signed the richest surfing deal of that time. A five-year, $2 million contract with Rip Car. He then spent much of the early and mid-90s traveling the world as the star of Rip Car The Search marketing campaign. I better take myself home. I better take myself home. Karen divorced in 1993. The following year he married Makeira Caseido of Panama and returned to Santa Barbara where he had two more children in 1996. Even after his pro career ended, Tom remained an enigmatic free surfer using strange omenated surfboard. Karen occasionally competed in master events during the 2000s with good result. His collaboration with Rip Carl has continued over time. His daughter, Leanne Curran, qualified for the Woman Pro Tour in 2010, while his son, Frank and Pats, have a pro surfing career and endorsement deal with Rip Carl. Curran has appeared in over 100 surf films and videos, including Ender Summer 2, Litmus, and One California Day. Karen was inducted into the Huntington Beach Surfing Walk of Fame in 1995 and won the Surfer Magazine Reader Pool Awards for eight years, from 1985 to 1992. Surfer Magazine named Karen the Surfer of the Decade for the 80s and counted him among the 16 greatest surfers of all time in 2004. Can I follow? 